the promises to obey the commandments and to take Jesus' name under your word or something like that. You make another promise to never forget him. And that just means that you have to be willing to do those things to get baptized. And you can make that choice. You don't have to get baptized at the right minute because you need to be able to make those choices. Eight means you get included and in more stuff like getting baptized and having the Holy Ghost and getting more into the other stuff as you become a member of the church. My favorite scripture story was when um, Jesus fed the 5,000, I think it's 5,000, um, because I think that means when you only get a little bit that when you take it, you get so much to keep and so much back that you only have to eat a little bit to get all those blessings and to get that spiritual feeling. I am safe and I'm okay to be alone and that everything doesn't end with like anger or sadness or crying. That I can just be myself and I don't have to be scared of doing stuff and he'll just help me to get rid of that. When I go to church, I feel happy because I, I know I'm doing the right thing. When I go to a different church, um, to like Upward or something, something, um, I feel like none of that stuff is just where I should be on a Sunday. I should be at my church, which I know is true. When you take the sacrament, Heavenly Father gives you a lot back just from taking that, that, that little piece. He gives you so much back, it feels so happy and so nice. I bear my testimony that I know the church is true and that when you get baptized, it's so spiritual that, that you can just feel all the blessings and know that Jesus is there. And I also bear that um, I know that the scriptures have been through many years of greatness. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.